I am apart from uh, from a big group called uh, Aliawar family. It's different than Kennedy family, but some, you know, we are, we are the same by uh, taking uh, always the uh, initiative, you know. In northern Iraq, the victory of Sheikh Yawa's Sunni Arab-led coalition sent an unavoidable message in recent elections. The old order is back. In the years after the invasion, Sunni Arabs, the powerful minority that long ran Iraq, mostly stayed away from politics. But in January, they unified against Kurdish rule in historic Nineveh. Five years they do nothing for Nineveh. The budget, 400 million, they do not use it you know, for projects. In the past, many Sunnis used violence to assert power. Now they have turned to politics. They are intent on taking a hard edge against the Kurds. In Mosul must be only one power which is belong to the government in Mosul. And they express a similar wariness to the Americans. I think in this time we need uh, to keep the Americans away from contacting with the uh, Nineveh people. Kurdish leaders in Nineveh say they don't object to Arabs in general, but they have doubts about the men who will now run the province. And even you Americans did that. But which Arabs? This is the problem. This is the question. It is still unclear whether the Arabs' return will mean a stronger peace or greater instability. We asked Sheikh Yawa what would happen if Iraq's leaders in Baghdad ignored his coalition's demands for the north. If, if they will not, bad, many bad things, not good things.